Hi, Daniel Linsenberger from Somazo here with a bit more information about Project Hyphy. So we're starting Project Hyphy here in Langley with the goal of improving thriving in Langley. The basics of our methodology is essentially stone soup. It's unmanagement and there's some details to it, but basically we bring people together, we come together in community, we offer what we can um, and decide together how we want to make things better. Part of what we each bring is our awareness of the challenges that we face, that our community faces, and that generally are here in Langley. We bring our passion, our skills, our ideas around how things could be different or better, our community, and our resources that we want to share. We also bring our own internal capacities for being and presence, for thinking, for relating to one another, for collaboration, and for acting in the world. Finally, we're bringing our trajectory that's coming from our values, our needs, our goals, and what it is that we're doing and hope to be doing in the world. Coming together with each other, we then build our community through projects. Projects are the pulse of what we do. We develop and, uh, and implement and document our projects that we do. Through that, we also build organizational partnerships with others who are interested in the work that we're doing or groups that we are interested in the work that they're doing. Um, and we build an online resource of everything that we learn throughout the whole process. The basic shape of these different projects are we come together with this shared purpose of promoting thriving in Langley. We invite in the people for a specific project that we feel like would be interested and excited in it uh, and would have something that they might want to contribute. We share story and perspective so that we understand where we're each coming from and what the shape of the issue is in a grounded way, a way that's grounded in experience. From that, we pull out and harvest and name what are the specifics of how things could be better, of what the needs are, um, and from there we can think about what it is we want to do. We then often will do a time shift, we'll vision forward to see what would things be like in our ideal world, and that's going to be different for each person. So by looking at those differences and the similarities, it helps us figure out what's the general shape of one or more projects uh, aimed at making something better. We focus on priority, we come up with what it is exactly that we want to be focusing on, and then we choose a right-sized bite, something that's a project that is reasonable, attainable, uh, and lets us practice how we're working together. We then have our reflection action cycle. We think about how the project went, we harvest any results from it, describe those, document them, share them, and think about them and how those might uh, implement or how those might affect what we want to do next, um, and then we iterate. We, uh, we might iterate on the same project or we might do variations on the theme or we might decide that, that project was enough on that one topic and move to something different. The basic process we're using is agile methodology, which is coming out of the software world, but is increasingly used all over the place. So again, we, we plan together, we design, we develop what the project's going to be, we run the project in the world, we review it and see what happens. Um, and then we're, we share all that documentation after the, the launch of that project. Some projects will be a one-time thing that simply happens. Other projects may be the start of an ongoing piece that's launched. The framework that we're using for doing our projects out in the world is the United Nations Sustainable Development Goal goals. So we're looking at no poverty, zero hunger, good health and well-being, quality education, gender equality, clean water and sanitation, affordable and clean energy, decent work and economic growth, industry, innovation and infrastructure, reduced inequalities, sustainable cities and communities, responsible consumption and production, climate action, life below water, life on land, peace, justice and strong institutions and partnerships for the goals. And later we'll go into more depth on each one of those. But take a look at them and see where are you attracted? What do you gravitate towards? And is there something that you're already doing or that you're aware of that's going on in Langley or that you're inspired to do on one or more of those different goals? Internally, in terms of our own development, we're using the inner development goals uh, as a, a guideline. So in there, we're looking at being, thinking, relating, collaborating, and acting. And for each of those, there's a set of different capacities that we can work on for ourselves, for being our inner compass, our integrity and authenticity, openness and learning mindset, self-awareness and presence, for thinking, our ability to critically think, uh, complexity awareness, our perspective skills, our ability to do sense-making and our long-term orientation and visioning, for relating, our ability to appreciate each other in the world, uh, our connectedness, our humility and our empathy and compassion. For collaboration, our communication skills, 
co-creation skills, an inclusive mindset and intercultural competence, trust and mobilization skills. And finally, for acting, our ability, our, our courage, our creativity, our optimism, and our perseverance. So that gives a little bit of a sense of what it is that we're up to and how. Um, if you're interested in any of this, you can uh, get in touch with, uh, with me or with anyone who's involved with the project, um, daniel at thomazo.org. That'll be in the description on the YouTube that you're watching. Um, and we'd love to, to talk with you and see how together we can make Langley a better place.